Hello everybody. Today we're going to be looking at two very related topics, harmonic numbers and the euler mascheroni constant. So first I'll start with the harmonic numbers. And the harmonic numbers are basically sort of like partial sums for zeta of 1, Riemann zeta of 1. Uh, it's just the sum of the first n uh, positive integer reciprocals. So 1 plus a half plus a third plus dot 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 to 1 over n. And so we define, you know, h sub 1 is 1 and um, I guess recursively you would say h of n is equal to h sub n minus 1 plus 1 over n. So it's pretty easy to prove that the harmonic numbers are unbounded and that is as you take the if you take the limit as h goes to infinity um uh this sum will diverge and it turns out that the harmonic numbers are very close to um the natural log of n. And the relationship, sort of how we define how close they are, is say h, h sub n minus the natural log of n. This if you take the limit as n goes to infinity, this limit actually converges. So they're pretty like they're they grow sort of similarly. And this limit is equal to a number which we call gamma, which is the Euler Mascheroni constant, and it is approximately zero point five seven seven so uh, we'll see this gamma pop up a lot more in further discussions of the gamma function how <laughs> funny this is gamma and we have a gamma function but um, another thing I want to show in this video is uh, another way to express harmonic numbers which we'll use again so Consider, uh, I guess instead of this, consider the function f of x, which is 1 plus um, x plus x squared plus dot 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 plus x sub n, right? And if we consider its antiderivative, I'll say capital F of X. So we're saying that F capital F prime of X is equal to lowercase f of X. Its antiderivative is X plus X squared over two plus X cubed over three plus dot 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 and actually I want this to be n minus 1 then we have x sub n over n here and so we can see that um, capital F of 1 is equal to uh, h sub n and capital F of 0 is equal to zero. So that means that the integral from zero to one of f of x dx is equal to h sub n. And f of x is the sum, or is it, it is a geometric series this is equal to 1 minus x to the n 
over 1 minus x. And so we get another formula for the harmonic numbers, which is 0 to 1, the integral of 1 minus x to the n over 1 minus x dx. So this is a pretty short video. I just want to show off uh, these two topics because we will be using this formula right here and we'll be using this constant um, uh, quite a few times in our in our discussions of the gamma function. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in those videos.